In today's Teach Me Tuesday video, I will be sharing with you a very cool tool that will make your life a lot easier. So if, if you are a big fan of automation tools, you will love this tool. It's called IFT and it stands for if this then that. So you can visit ift.com. That's I F triple T dot com. So at first I thought this was a weird tool, but then I realized, well, it's amazing. And just let us click on learn more. So I will explain this a little bit. So it says here, IFT is a service that lets you create powerful connections with one simple statement. If this, then that. So I know it's confusing, but let us look at this first. If this, then that. So this whole thing right here, the statement, if this, then that, is called a recipe. And if you remember your math in high school, you know, or in grade school, and, you know, you follow formulas. So this is basically like a formula. And so this, the word this, is a trigger. And that is the action. Okay? So if, let's say, if this certain thing occurs, then this action will happen. So I will show you a little bit later about uh, how this works. So now let's go for, let's go to the channels. So, so the channels are the basic building blocks of IFT. So you will be able to combine, um, uh, create a recipe. For example, if I post something on Twitter, this will be posted on Facebook. Okay, I think you now get it, right? Okay. For example, if the weather says it's going to be sunny tomorrow, this will be posted on my Twitter account. So that, that's just an example. So these are the channels. There's a lot of channels. You have 51 channels that you can use. Okay, so triggers. I explained earlier what a trigger is. The, this part of a recipe is called a trigger. So some examples of triggers are I'm tagged in a photo on Facebook or I post a tweet on Twitter. So if I'm tagged in a photo on Facebook, you might uh, select a different action. For example, if you are tagged in a photo on Facebook, post that on Twitter or something like that. Okay, so an action the that part of a recipe is an action so some actions are send me a text message or create a status update or create a status message from facebook so i know this is confusing so let's just sign in and let's go ahead and i'll show you how this works Okay, so this is the dashboard, and I currently have one recipe turned on. Okay, let me show you my recipes. Okay, this is what I have turned on. As we have mentioned a while ago, like recipes are a combination of a trigger and an action. Now, this says if YouTube, then Facebook fan page. So, what does this mean? So I have set this as, you know, if I post a YouTube video, then it will be posted to my Facebook fan page. Okay, so this will create a link post on my fan page. Okay, so let me show you the channels. Before you create any recipes, you have to choose your channels. We have a lot here. I currently have 14. I have activated 14. There is app.net, uh, bit.ly, blogger, box, boxcar, buffer. So I have the great ones are the services or channels that I haven't used yet. So the colored ones are the ones that I have activated, such as Dropbox, email, Evernote, Facebook pages, feed, Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Drive, LinkedIn, 
uh, Twitter and YouTube so okay so once you have finished activating the channels you have to log into each of your accounts when you click on each channel and give access to ift so let's click on create okay it tells you to create a recipe if this then that so you have to choose a trigger click on this and you will uh, follow the steps Ch uh, step one is to choose a trigger channel okay let's say Hmm. Okay, let's say I want YouTube. Okay, so okay, so step two is to choose a trigger. So I can choose whether um I can choose between these three new favorite video new watch later video or new video uploaded so let's say I want this so every time I have a new video uploaded on my youtube channel create trigger so if youtube is a, if a new video is uploaded by me then let's click on that choose the action channel so what do I want to do with this Whenever I post a new YouTube video, I want this to be, I want my LinkedIn status update to be up, um, updated. So, you can choose an action. Share an update. This action will share an update on your LinkedIn profile or share a link. This action will share a link on your LinkedIn profile. So, this is actually better. I'll share l the link on my channel <clears throat> so it says here the link URL so this is the YouTube ingredient but if you want to add something else on the right it says YouTube ingredients so select an ingredient so this basically you know means like for example what does a YouTube video or like what are the ingredients of a YouTube video of course there is the video title, the description, the URL, the name of the author or the name of the, the person who owns the YouTube channel and the embed code. Okay, so those are the ingredients of a YouTube channel. Or, I mean YouTube, um, those are the ingredients of a YouTube video. So, I want IFT to post a link URL to um, my LinkedIn account and I want them to add the description of the video so we can also add here aside from the URL I want the video title okay so now that's added what I actually want is I want this before the URL okay so so what I did is I just copied and pasted and transferred the title then the URL so now that I'm happy with that create action okay so now step 7 is to create and activate so you have to check your recipe if YouTube then LinkedIn so if a new video is uploaded by social media girl on YouTube then share a link on my LinkedIn profile and you can choose to you know add the description here but I'd rather not do that so let's click on create recipe now a recipe has been created so now I have two recipes so when I post a YouTube video my Facebook fan page will be updated as well as my LinkedIn profile. So isn't that great? So you can make, you know, you can create as many recipes that you want. But if you want to check out some other recipes, click on browse. So these are the examples of recipes created by, the, by other people. Okay, this is nice. Save all Instagram photos to Dropbox. 
if someone follows me on Twitter, follow him automatically. If I am tagged, this is nice. If I am tagged in a photo on Facebook, then also upload that photo to Picasa. Now, this is nice. This will save you time. So if you have a Picasa account, you don't need to upload manually because you want, you know, whatever photo that you are tagged on Facebook is directly uploaded to your Picasa account. Okay. So I think this tool is really cool and this will uh, make your life a lot easier. easier. You can choose, um, you can create recipes to uh, automate some of your social media tasks. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful. So just visit ift.com and have fun creating your recipes.